Yeah, I was queen tingling back on here. I decided I want to play the pick three tonight for the evening draw. So I went to the store and I got my numbers. It's going to be all about triples all last week and I still got a feeling they're going to fall. And you're going to say when. I really can't say. It's not to me when they're going to fall. But I still say it's going to fall. So I, I realized something tonight. And this is what I did. I was going to play earlier today for midday, but since I'm a night owl, I ended up sleeping, oversleeping during that first draw. You know, I'm, I kind of missed it. But I'm glad that I did because I wrote down numbers. I filled out my play slips before I laid down to go to sleep. I still didn't hit. But it made me notice something. So this is what I'm going to talk to you about now. Um, hold on a minute. Let me see. Can I find me? I'm going to have to find me one of my grids right here. It's just some little old dingy back grid that I made up. Yeah, here we go. I got so many of them here. I've been working on this thing for the past few days. And y'all know I have. Um, about Goliath the Theory. I still have this theory that it's possible to pick the next draw from the last draw. And I still, I know it's true. I know you can do that. The thing is that you have to have the... Um, your brain has to be wired a certain way. Okay? I mean, it's not for everybody to see. And a lot of folks out there, a lot of y'all out there wanting to hit. Y'all say, well, I saw part of the number, but I don't see it. And so my my con said, well, hey, I just don't see this number. I said, well, it came out of that grid or that workout, that run, that whatever. And I said, well, I just don't see it. But I'm going to teach you now how to look for it, okay? So, um, trying to catch my breath for a second. Trying to find if it, which one's the best. This is not a grid, um. For y'all say, well, hey, I think I'm going to use this every day, okay? This is just not... The grid that I'm fixing to show y'all is just a... It's just not one of those grids for doing that. It's not going to last you very long. It's probably not even good for a day or two. Um. Okay. I'm going to show it to y'all for this one right here. Let me... See, can I see it? All right. So, not last night, not before, the evening before, the draw came out to be 708. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, 708. I've already located, I already did a rundown, I did a a um, backtrack on a grid just kind of similar to this one because I've been playing with it all afternoon long and no this is not my grid for the uh, my chart this is not my chart okay this right here is just something I made it yesterday but it's going to serve the purpose for right now okay so I, I did the backtrack on this other grid that I made up and it made sense to me so I'm thinking I, I got this I sit right here and I went through the grid after the 708 and I'm picking numbers like this 253 I'm picking numbers like um, alright I mirrored that to 3 you got 2 and then nine, three, two, nine. I think I had four, five, two. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I had a seven, one, six up in there somewhere. So, I played all those numbers. And one number that I think it was that I had my heart set on for hitting probably would have been this one right here which was the 836 or 638. I think that's what it was. I haven't played that 
I, I wrote it down. I put it to you like this. I wrote it down. I never did get to the store to get my numbers this morning because I fell asleep. But anyway, I'm sitting there watching Young and Restless. I always watch Young and Restless because at the end of Young and Restless, they always show the lottery. I mean, the pick three and pick four that hit for midday here in South Carolina. And damn the mind of this, that 414 came out for pick three. And I'm thinking to myself, how on earth? I still can't get over it. How on earth did it do it? And I'm thinking, all right, let me show you what happened now. Now, like I said the night before, it fell 708, okay? So had I been going off the 8, then this is what I would have done. I would have said 1. All right, if you see right here, right there is your whole first try family, 174. I would have said 1. I would have said 7. And I would have maybe said 1, or I might have said 3, 173. But like I said, it fell 1, 4, 1. And basically what had happened was... Um, we consider consider a, a seven a four because the seven is in the first tri family as you see one four seven first tri family and they always run together okay so but then you have the eight and the eight is in the second tri family all right we had the zero well in this case yeah, we had the zero, but the zero really doesn't going to count for anything other than the fact that it was there and it did make a um, three-digit number. So, but if you take this eight, okay, two will go into eight how many times? Four times. Just look at it like this, okay? Yeah, you see seven. You see a two above a seven, which it always is. Remember, a two is usually right above the seven or underneath the eight. So we said two will go into eight four times. All right. Hold on, man. I'm trying to figure this one out for you. Um. I'm thinking to myself. So since you had two go into eight four times, the two really couldn't really come back in that next number. So what it did was it split up. It split up one and then four and then one. It completely split up. One, four, one. Okay. Now... I'm thinking to myself, one for one. And I was just kind of like about ready to give up. I'm like, damn, what am I going to do? So I sat there a little while ago. I didn't exactly see what I'm seeing now. I thought, well, all right, I'm going to do a rundown. I'm going to see what I see, see if it's compatible with what I see on this number, if it's compatible to what I want to make it to be. And that's usually what the heck happens is you're looking at this grid or whatever and you're looking and thinking about a number and you're saying, well, damn, this could be this. I think it is this. You, you're making out the next draw what it is you want it to be rather than what is supposed to fall based on the mathematics and based on a lot of other stuff so I'm sitting here and I'm looking at that four one I mean the, the one four one alright I'm thinking to myself what in the heck it's got something's got to come up for that it, and how I'm thinking to myself too I'm like, I just don't understand 
what the, 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 the thinking is, I guess. And I did some workouts. I did some workouts, and I got, oh, maybe four or five numbers, which is, I guess, good, because I was in a hurry, you know. And um, just trying to get from one place to the other. So I end up playing like things like... Eight three one or eight three two. I forgot what all I did play. One seven six, one three. Wait, let me get this right. Three seven six. And I'm still trying to keep in mind um, triples. So if you take that four and subtract that one, that's going to be um, triple threes. It would be common to tri triple threes. I'll put two like this. Alright. If you see that eight beside that five and that one, there's that 851. So, I'm just thinking to myself, alright, we got this, that, and that. I said, surely goodness, there's got to be something out there that's compatible with this 708 and compatible with this 141. So I'm looking in and looking at it. And down to Mighty's, if the answer didn't kind of come to me, if you take... <coughs> Alright. If you take the two ones, add them together, you get two. Two into four is what? Two, so we know that the whole uh, basis of that particular draw, it was two, even though it's all off the first try family. But the way they got it wrote down, and the way it wrote down on this grid, um, this is kind of what I see. All right. If L141, so I'm looking at this 8 beside this 4 and this 1, and that kind of tells me, yeah, it's going to have an 8 in it. But then I start looking at the connection. I'm thinking, yeah, if, if it's got an 8 in it, that means it's connected to last evening's draw, 708 somehow or another. Alright, so hold on a minute. I get to looking at this grid thingy that I made up. And I'm thinking to myself, alright, I see what I see, but I don't see nothing other than what I've already put down that I really want to play. So when I put down the numbers that I've played, um, I just had them here just a second ago. Let me see. Yeah. All right, so this is my numbers that I played. All right. Three, four, five. Four, five, six. And two, three, five. Of course, I had to get my trip on. And five, 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 and three, three, three was my idea what might fall and that 186 now that 186 is pretty interesting anyhow what I actually fell was this right here no matter how I try to sugarcoat it or whatever it fell 883 it fell 883 I see the eight and I see the eight right there. That's not no eight eight three. And actually other than for this three over here, there's no anything to indicate to me that that three is gonna be with that eight and that eight. Alright. But when all was said and done, the two double eights fell first, I believe it was. They might have fell second, but I don't remember. Anyway. Then this three fell last. 
So when that fell last, that just kind of gave me this idea. I'm like, well, damn, we're in for a long ride tonight. We sure are. Um, but then I got to looking at how could I tell that the two, how could I tell that it was not 882? How could I tell that it's possible that it's 883? And I'm going to show you how right here. All right. We knew that today was 908. 908, and that kind of seals those 88s eight right there. All right, and then when you look down here below it, in vortex math, right there's your whole entire second tri family, 258. All right, and then right here, 147, their whole entire second tri family. Well, then it doesn't show your whole entire third tri family. You got three, nine, and of course, six is wherever, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Six is I don't know. It's just it's it's down at the bottom, I guess. So in your tri family, since you have the second tri family right here, that eight can also be recognized as that two. All right, but check this out now. So you got eight eight. All right, and you look at that two and say two plus one is what? three and then right here would be your answer eight eight i guess what they've been making him do here in south carolina uh, rather than anything um as far as putting it down on the on the slip or anything and if it were pick four you'd have to put it down as eight eight two one if it was pick three of course you could put it down as eight eight three um If you looked at it this way, 888, which is the triple eights that I've been thinking about might fall. All right. But the two is uh, the third eight in vortex. Um, if you mirror that, eight is going to be three. Okay. So it's okay. I guess what I'm trying to do is, and, and it's my hope is to get it in everybody's brain. And when they look at a grid like this, yes, you can tell what the number is going to fall based on the fact of the tri-family. I know I'm sitting here babbling on to some stuff that some might, might, might say, well, she ain't making no sense. It, it takes a minute to grab onto this. It takes a minute for this stuff to get into your brain. All right? Same as if I looked at this three and this nine. To me, a three and a nine is the same. I notice a lot on rundowns and workouts that when I see a nine in a uh, pick three draw, well, the next draw come up, it's going to change to a three. And that's the reason why. Because they're in the same trial family, three, six, nine. All right. Um, of course, you know, right here, the first tri family is one, seven, four. And of course, you got that seven right there, you're just kind of hanging out right here with the seven, four. They just all kind of being family and buddies. But yeah, this is Queen Chingley. I'm going to get off of here. And I hope I'm making some kind of a headway. Um, basically, what I'm getting at all together is when you see one tri family like this, 258, each number represents the other. And you might as well go ahead, as far as looking at this, kind of tighten up a little bit on your thinking. So when you see something like this on the grid, you'll know, well, maybe it's. It's either two, five, or eight. Maybe, you know, if you're looking at a W, it might be a two right here. You say, well, two, two, based on that. If you were looking at a five right here for a five, five, and you had, um, 
you know, just a split second to look at it, you can also say, well, and it would remind you if I put three right here, which if I mirrored this, it would be three. Three plus two would be five. You know? So... I'm just sitting here babbling on, babbling on. I was sitting talking to a guy tonight about the very same thing I'm talking to you guys about right now. If you see this 8, 8, and 6, um, the only thing in common with those is the number 2. 2 will go into that 6 three times. 2 will go into that 4 times. Of course, that 4 right there. 2 will go into that 4 two times. But yet again... None of them are related. They're not even family. They are part of the vortex family. Two, four, six, eight. All right, yeah. I believe it's time we get on out of here. I hope y'all learned a little something. Um, just a little something. Um, I'm sitting here looking at these two knives right now. I'm going to throw this in the mix. All right, like I say, if you... If you had a, a draw, right? The first draw came out something like this 395. You had that 9 there. All right, well, the next day or so, or the next draw came out something like 993. All right, that's the only two times I could do that. The next uh, draw that would come up, this 9, or one of these 9s, if it's going to come back, would probably have to turn to either a 4 or a three. It cannot stay a nine. It can be nine nine three or nine nine four or nine nine two. But it cannot stay a nine. Just be Queen Chingling. Like I said, I just wanna try to get y'all to understand where I'm coming from. Uh I'm gonna pop all asleep on you guys. But um I just trying to teach you a little something and, and this grid right here now I wouldn't take it with a grain of salt because it's hey if it do hold up it's not going to hold up but a couple of days this is just something I put together just to work out some little theory that I had and it did not exactly work out the way I wanted it to work out but if you want numbers hit up Queen Channing up I'll give you some numbers uh, if you want the chart, the chart, like I said, is very accurate. Um, I use that chart, the 646 method, to back up my equations and back up my answers that I play, ones I intend to make money off of. Because I know both of them, the 646 workout and my chart, are both very accurate and they're short and sweet and to the point. That's how I like things. So, let me... I've been on here way too long. This be Queen Chingling. I'm going to get off here because I'm falling asleep on you guys. Hit me up down below. Look at my phone number. It's in the description down below. I got heartburn. Ooh, we've been eating uh, combos and candy and water. We don't stuff like that. Fat girl stuff Queen Chingling don't need. I'm out of here, y'all. Y'all have a good and I hope y'all learned something. Ciao, y'all.